Welcome to New Zealand. <laughs> so we've completed our six weeks in Australia. We are now on our six week adventure in New Zealand. We've been up to quite a lot in our first week. Um, starting off with the Auckland Sky Tower walk and jump. Now, if any of you are thinking of doing the sky walk because you think the jump would be too scary. That's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Um, sky walk is actually, in my opinion, um, scarier. Simply because you have to walk around uh, the building at the right at the top. You can see straight down to all the cars and the people and you're looking above all these buildings and you're up there for a good half an hour. So the sky jump is actually over a lot quicker than um, the sky walk. Sorry, we're on a hike. <laughs> it's a really fun thing to do in Auckland if you are coming. Once you do get up there, you get amazing views of the whole city and the surrounding areas and the islands that are around Auckland, um, which are definitely worth checking out as well, which we'll be doing on our way back up. If you do come, do go there, um, do the sky jump, do the sky walk. It is a little bit pricey, um, but I think it's definitely worth it. Take a look at our sky jump. Chloe is here guys at the top of the Sky Tower in Auckland, New Zealand. You're about to jump off a building 192 metres to the ground. Yep. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. <laughs> what are you about to do? Jump off a building. You're about to jump off a building. Feeling good? Oh, feeling great. Ready Why to not? go for it? It's a beautiful sunny day. Would you like to have a little peek over the edge there? That's where you're off to. Let's go for it. Alright, here's Chloe. Three, two, one, go! Thinking about taking a day trip out of Auckland, uh, about two hours away, um, there's a place called Cathedral Cove, which is beautiful. I thought it looked like a place out of Bali. <laughs> it's 72 minutes, um, the hike from the parking, and if you just want to catch the shuttle bus up, it's about a 45 minute hike. Um, and it's a really good hike, uh, so many great views, um, it's not too... I wouldn't say it's a difficult hike, I'd say it's probably easy to medium. Um, so any of you can do it and it's yeah, really it's, worth it. It's all paved it? paths, there's no kind of bushwalking and dirt and mud and everything. Yeah, um, and it's just, it's it's just stunning. <laughs> And then after that you can head down to Hot Water Beach where you can dig in the sand and dig yourself a spa, which we did. Yes. Um, so you need to go at low tides so when the water all goes out, everyone goes down the beach with their spades, digs up their own hot tub essentially uh, and enjoys some nice hot water spa on the beach which is very strange but also very fun.
And the last thing we got up to this week was we went to Hobbiton, um, which is oh, such a good day out. Whether you've read the books, um, seen all the movies, or you've never even heard of Hobbiton, heard of the books, don't even know what Lord of the Rings is, what is that? Um, <laughs> it is such a good day out, and it is just incredible to think that um, so Peter Jackson just came across this random farm in the middle of nowhere in New Zealand and created this world and it's just beautiful to go and see and walk around. The staff are fantastic, they know all the behind the scenes um, uh, stories that you want to find out about all the secrets. Uh, it's just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant way to spend the day. Yeah, it really is fantastic. I've never seen any of the books, any of the films. Um, and I thought it was awesome. It's also good if you want to grab some uh, good Instagram photos and uh, just prove that you're in New Zealand. That's a great way. Go to Hobbiton, get some pictures by the big round doors, the Hobbit holes. Um, yeah. You will love it. So check this bit out for sure to see what all the magic's about. Uh, hope you like this video if you have liked it um, please like it share it uh, and maybe subscribe for future videos uh, we'll see you soon see you then bye